the public engagement that we have had has just been mind-blowing, honestly. No matter how you travel, we want to hear from you. This is such a really cool place. I really love this neighborhood. I think it's really something special. When it comes to Corwin Drive, I do appreciate what the guys are doing, trying to like, you know, improve the street, and I think it's a great idea. That would be amazing. Metro Plan Orlando is on a mission to improve transportation on Corin Drive to better serve the needs of the surrounding community. This is the, the first uh, corridor study, complete street study of its kind in our region. A complete street is one that safely and comfortably accommodates people of all ages or abilities. For the past several months, we've been going all over Corin Drive and talking to people, so we're really excited to speak with everyone here today. There are four stations at this workshop where you'll learn what's happening on Corinne Drive right now and what your neighbors envision for the road's future. You'll have lots of opportunities to tell us what you think. At Station 1, see what's on your community's Corinne wish list. Many of you took our survey and so did about 1,700 of your neighbors. Lots of people have opinions on what they want to see. This is their, this is their street. Corinne Drive has a fascinating history. It started out, it was really far removed from downtown and just a, a bunch of orange groves. During World War II, what is now the Executive Airport became part of the Army Air Base. The base stayed and became an Air Force base. And following that became the Naval Training Center. So for about 60 years, it had a huge significant military presence. The Navy base closed and the Baldwin Park neighborhood opened about 15 years ago. So, you know, we've had a huge influx of people. Um, the character of the neighborhoods have changed, the, the commercial areas along Corinne Drive, but the road hasn't really changed. As somebody who lives and works in the neighborhood, what's really important to me on a day-to-day -day basis is that I'm able to walk or bike places safely. If people got used to the fact that it is a pedestrian area, I think it would change things. But it would be great if there was a crosswalk to help us get into the neighborhood of Audubon Park for our free community event. A bike trail down here would be great. Some more bike, bike lanes, even some more electric car charging stations. Parking was one of the number one concerns that we had. So those are the types of themes that we hear a lot. So we're hoping that we can definitely address those things during the course of this study. At Station 2, we'll share the technical data that Metro Plan Orlando has gathered. We're collecting data on how many people are currently using the road and the, the travel behaviors of each person who's using the road. So the Blue Mac, anything as far as car, phone, anything that has Bluetooth capability, it'll record how many of those travel past it. And then we wanted to know traffic counts. We laid down tubes, um, which count volume of cars, the speed of cars, and then the type of car that's going over it. So laying these tubes down and doing all these studies on the side streets is just as important as the main streets because at the same time, you got your kids, your families out here, and you want to make sure that they're safe too on the side streets, just as much as you want them safe when they're crossing the main roads. Then we use turning movement count cameras. Those record how many uh, cars are making turns and um, how many pedestrians are crossing the street. We're collecting a lot of this technical data in the existing conditions phase to assess what's feasible from a planning side, from an engineering side, of the different ways that Corinne Drive can um, improve transportation options. Station 3 is where we'll discuss how we want to make an impact on health in the neighborhood by encouraging more active types of transportation. So we have been working with uh, the Florida Department of Health in Orange County, and then we're collecting air quality data in specific places along the corridor. It's a different way to look at our, our traditional transportation data. And if we make it safer to bike or walk, just imagine how many people would then be able to take a short walk or bike ride to eat, shop, or play on Corinne Drive, all without needing to use their cars. There was lots of community engagement, lots of grassroots advocacy that's happening in the corridors. I'm a very proud resident. This is a very cool and eclectic area. And I'm very fond of the community and what it has to offer. Station 4 is where you can point out specific areas that need attention on Corinne Drive and learn what's next for our study. This is also where you can pick up copies of our reports. They'll be posted online at corinnedrivestudy.org. 
some of it is starting as simple as, as what's currently there on a map and drawing where we would possibly want to put a bike lane um, or drawing where we could put a sidewalk or drawing where people would be crossing the street a lot. When we finally get to the plan for Corinne, that we can have a plan that addresses those things. It's nice to uh, hear people just offer their thoughts and just excited that they get to offer their thoughts. It's supporting how we live. It's enhancing our quality of life. It's making this a place that's a place where we want to raise families. It's making um, our neighborhoods a place where we feel healthy, we feel happy. That's our goal. Thanks for participating in the future of your community. If you've given us your email, you'll receive a survey from us after the workshop. Before leaving, you can also fill out the provided comment cards. And if you have any additional feedback, email us at info at metroplanorlando.org.